Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash am I the asshole? But first, it's time to play r slash drunk or a kid. This was posted by user Brandon MTN. I was eating a spicy curry with my mouth on fire and tears streaming down my scrunched up face. I powered through the whole thing and haven't liked curry since. Hmm, not sure. This screams drunk to me. What do you think, guys? Drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. This story was posted by Through Our AR. Am I the asshole for not splitting the money? My girlfriend sings in the shower. Every time she takes a shower, she makes up a new song. Sometimes two or three. I asked her to record the songs and send them to me because I love them and I want to listen to them more than once. She said that she hated the way her voice sounded on recordings and that she forgets most of the songs when she gets out of the shower anyway. I started listening to her sing in the shower and writing the lyrics down. I did this for months. I filled up a notebook and a half. I didn't tell her I was doing this. My girlfriend's birthday was coming up and I wanted to surprise her. I have a friend who's in a small band. I asked her if she could record the lyrics and add music to them. My friend said she could try. I took a picture of a page or two and sent them over. She texted me back and asked me if I could ask my girlfriend if she could use some of the lyrics for her song and then she would pay her. I didn't ask my girlfriend because I felt that I didn't need to. I waited for a bit, then told my friend that my girlfriend said it was okay. My friend paid me and I used some of it to take my girlfriend out for her birthday. Last night, my friend and her band were doing a gig and my girlfriend and I were in attendance. My girlfriend had a frown on throughout the entire performance. She kept whispering to me, I feel like I've heard this song before. Not the music per se, but some of the lyrics. I don't know what lyric it was exactly that gave away, but at one point she said, that's my song. I use that phrase all the time. When my friend got off the stage, my girlfriend and her nearly got into a fight. My friend looked at me and said, I thought you said she said it was okay. My girlfriend looked at me and said, You what? I told her we'd talk about it outside. Outside, I told her, It's not a big deal. You didn't want to record it anyway. While I was talking, my friend came out and apologised to my girlfriend. Then she asked if I had at least given my girlfriend the money that she had paid me for the lyrics. My girlfriend said, Money? What money? I said no. Before I could explain, they started screaming at me and wouldn't let me talk. So I left my girlfriend there, got in the car and drove home. My girlfriend came home a short while after me. I think my friend drove her and she hasn't spoken to me yet. She took a shower but I didn't hear her sing. Now she's downstairs watching TV ignoring me. I called my friend and apologised for lying to her. She forgave me, but she said to make sure I really apologise to my girlfriend. I don't see what I should apologise for. I wrote the lyrics down, so I felt like I have the right to sell them without sharing the profits. And I technically did share them somewhat by taking her out for her birthday. That's why I'm here. I honestly don't see what the problem was. But if you guys say I'm the asshole, I'll split the money with her. Yes, you're the asshole. Basically, you stole her private content and sold it for personal gain. And you just left her. Down in the comments, Nightmare Name posted this. I feel like I'm being trolled here. You're kidding, right? No one is this oblivious. You stole her songs, sold them to someone else, used the money you got to take her out, so essentially she paid for herself. And someone else is now singing her songs on stage without her permission, and you don't see the issue? You're the asshole. This next story was posted by user Kaya Joy. Am I the asshole for telling my brother I will not be watching his kids anymore? I love my nieces and nephews. They are the light of my life. My partner and I both want to be child free, so I love these kids like they're my own. When we moved to a new house, we set up a room for the girls to share when we watch them. I usually offer to watch them for a night so their parents can have a night away from the kids. My partner and I have a dog together, our child, and he absolutely adores the kids. My brother is out of town on a work trip, so his wife is alone with the kids. He's going to be gone for another two weeks. She called and asked if I could watch the kids for a few hours. I agreed and she brought them over. After five hours, I was getting worried and called my sister-in-law. Well, she decided to join my brother out of town and she was on a plane and wants me to watch the kids for two weeks. I've never watched these kids for longer than three days before. I called my mom and she was mad. She called my sister-in-law and yelled at her. She called me back and told me to bring the kids over and she'll watch them. My parents are older and my dad has heart issues, 
so I've stayed close to help with my dad but it also means that they're a high risk. So I told her I'm not doing that and I'll just watch them. My mum and dad have been a huge help. Well, yesterday my brother called me and I told him after they get back, I won't be watching his kids again. Both him and my sister-in-law think I'm being dramatic. Her mum called me and told me parents need a break every now and then. I would have been more than happy to watch them if they gave me a heads up. If they told me how to watch them, showed me how to do it and told me in advance, I would be more than happy to watch them. My partner and my parents are on my side, but I feel like an asshole for telling him I'm never watching his kids again. Again, I love my nieces and nephews, but I have repeatedly told everyone my partner and I are child free. I want to have a relationship with my nieces and nephews. I've talked to my partner about watching them for a night every now and then, but she wants me to stick to my plan on not watching them ever again. I'm a sucker and when it comes to my brother, I usually give in as he's done so much for me. I feel like an asshole for telling him I won't ever watch his kids again. Am I the asshole? Just wow. The fact is, from the signs of it, you watch them often, which is more than many parents get away from their children. I could count on one hand how many nights I've been away from my kids, and they're 12 and 7. Your brother has been extremely lucky to have you help out so much. So to take advantage of you like that is totally unacceptable. Down in the comments, Bluebird Ocean has this to say. The kids should be dropped off with sister-in-law's mum then. See how she feels when it's her. Sister-in-law didn't do this on a whim. This was planned and that's what makes it so awful. What a shitty thing to do to someone. You can no longer trust your brother or sister-in-law ever again that a few hours will only be a few hours. You will always be looking at the clock wondering if you've just got stuck again. You've been badly used, OP, and there needs to be consequences. Edited to add that the consequences should be sticking to what you said and not watching your nieces and nephews anymore. If you want to revisit that in a year, that's fine. But dumping the kids on you without a thought as to your own plans deserves a year. Minimum. This next post was submitted by user slowfox70. Am I the asshole for arguing with my wife over what she says in her sleep? Okay, before I read this, I'm pretty sure you are an asshole just from the title, but let's see what you have to say. My wife has always talked in her sleep since I have known her, more than anyone else I've ever known. We slept in different rooms for a while because of it, but sleep together now as I can sleep through most of it. I know it isn't intentional from her side, but it does annoy me anyway sometimes. The last few weeks since we were sleeping in the same bed again, she usually falls asleep first and sleeps later, so I'm just laying on my phone and hear a lot of weird sleep comments. Some are making me uncomfortable. Examples. I don't want to have sex, you're gross. Oh, touching me. Josh, you're so cute. My name is not Josh. Are you watching the baby? We don't have kids and don't want them. This cake tastes like puke. I've been baking for her recently. When I try to ask her about it in the morning, she says she doesn't remember and that's probably true. But I ask her what her dreams were and she says she can't remember that too. Dreams are based on real feelings and thoughts in the day, so these kinds of comments make me super uncomfortable because it isn't what she says to my face, but it comes out when her guard is down. She says her real thoughts are the ones she tells me when she's awake, but I'm starting to feel paranoid. I'm insisting we have a real talk about what she really feels and she keeps saying it is impossible because she has no idea why she says those things. I just think deep down she does and doesn't want to say. Am I being an asshole to keep pushing this convo? I just feel it's important for our relationship, but she disagrees with that. If she has thoughts she isn't sharing, it could ruin us later and I don't want to be hurt. What the actual F? I don't think I've heard anything so insecure in my life. Why are you being so awful to your wife? In the comments, Music With Rocks In had this to say. I talk in my sleep a ton. Nothing anyone has ever told me I say lines up with what I remember about my dreams. Also, in general, the books I read and the TV I watch affect my dreams more than what's going on in my life. I was watching The Haunting of Bly last night and I had some messed up ghost dreams. Nothing that really touched on everyday life at all. She could have been telling a swamp monster she didn't want to have sex with it. You cannot judge her for her sleep talking. It is random nonsense and you are super projecting your insecurities onto it. Like the blob that the therapist asks what you can see, or a cloud, you are only hearing what your own brain wants to hear. Okay, so now it's time to find out if the person who powered through eating a spicy curry was drunk or a kid. It 
was a kid. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.